<coughs> we have business to have a meeting next week. Just a Has that been established yet? It's just the, we don't have a second. Okay. So you're going to do appointments to committees no, I mean, I don't today? Have second next, all right. I'd rather do it there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Welcome to this special meeting of the Terre Haute City Council. It's 5.47 p.m. Thursday, January 6th, 2022. Uh, attendance, Michelle? Councilperson Aller. Present. Councilperson Azar. Present. Councilperson Bolin. Present. Councilperson Crossan. Present. Councilperson DeBond. Here. Councilperson Elliott. Here. Councilperson Garrison. Here. Councilperson Loudermilk. Here. Councilperson Nation. Here. All are present. Thank you. The uh, first item on our agenda for this special meeting is the uh, call for nominations for president for 2022. Mr. President. Amy. I'd like to nominate Councilman Laudermilk for president. Thank you. Second. Second. Any other nominations? Hearing none, uh, I proclaim uh, Council Member Laudermilk as elected president by acclamation. Trade seats. Keep it down the back. He's gone So, Michelle, I guess the second. Item we have up then would I would ask for nominations for vice president. Madam Chairman. That's great. Well, did somebody say something? Is that okay? Hmm. I'd like to nominate Councilman Garrison. Second. Should we do the same as above? Same as above? Yeah. Acclamation. No other nominations. No other close, nominations. Close okay. With no other nominations, we'll close the floor for nominations and Councilman Garrison gets it by acclamation. You want him here or there? Which way do you want? He wants it. Okay. All right. I was going to say, and everybody, I don't have a seating chart. And I'm not going to have a seating chart. So. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was, that's a good thing to go, go by the wayside, I think. <laughs> Next item on the agenda. Uh, it will be a designation of the newspaper of record. Okay. We will need a motion and a second. Madam President. Councilperson Crossan. I um, move that we designate uh, the Tribune Star um, as a newspaper of record. Second. Second. Motion's been made by Councilperson Crossan and seconded by Councilperson Devon that uh, the Tribune Star be the uh, newspaper of record. All those in favor say aye. 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 Next item on the agenda. Michelle? Would be any appointments to boards and commissions that you wish to make tonight? Okay, so after long thoughts, I know we've all received those who have uh, submitted their uh, applications for those boards that they're interested in. Um, I believe I'd like to go ahead and, and go forward with those tonight. Um, we have one that may still have a vacancy. Councilperson no. Bowen? Yeah, can we discuss that as a council? I, I, you know, I would just like to put it off until the next meeting. I think that last year we established a process, and and I don't know that we've um, been as transparent in advertising this year. Um, that uh, the appointments that were available and the opportunities for um, the public to submit applications for those appointments. 
I'd just like to know everybody else's thoughts on that. <clears throat> Madam President, um, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, I I would tend to agree with that I I guess um, and I, I so I just would always uh, uh, to put it off to the next meeting. I don't think anything will be harmed in the in the um, city's activities for putting that off to the next meeting. Did you have council person answer? Did you contact people, Michelle, and send this out? Uh, I um, at the last uh, regular meeting in December, uh, Council President um, Elliot instructed me to post them on the website, which I did, um, and then I sent emails to all the departments that are related to the um, boards and commissions, stating that they were open. And then each time I received an application, I forwarded it to all of you. Um, I did not have individual contact information for every person that's on every board, but though I tried to reach as many as I could. Okay, thank you. I just, uh, yeah, I don't care one way or the other, to be totally honest with you, but I think she's done what probably she's supposed to do. So if someone hasn't answered the uh, on the website or the emails, then obviously they weren't interested. But again, I, if you want to, postpone it till February, that's fine with me, whatever anybody wants to do. But I do know that Michelle has did what was supposed to be done. Yeah. Council person Aller. Well, and I think, because we don't have a meeting next week, am I correct, Michelle? As long as everything passes tonight, that is correct. So some of these boards are going to meet before we have our next council meeting, correct? Uh, I believe a few of them are, yes. So I think with, I mean, it didn't, I'm the same with, with Councilman Azar, but I think with it being advertised and we're going to have meetings that come up before we have our next meeting, I think we need to put, you know, our people on the boards. Other than that, I yield. Councilperson Devon. Yeah, I, I don't think there's, myself, I don't think there's any harm in waiting until the next meeting. Uh, but again, I'm I'm personally okay with either way. But um, I do recall last time we did this, uh, I believe I received a, a lot more uh, notice from interested uh, parties, you know, for these open positions. I was kind of surprised with the uh, smaller amounts that we received this time. Uh, those are just my thoughts. But whatever we decide, I'm I'm certainly okay with tonight. I yield. Mr. Fallon, yes. are we okay to continue tonight, though, because we did um, put it out there? I mean, as far as I know, last year, although we did this process, um, I don't know that it was actually put into the council rules to be. You're not required to, to do, do any to anything. do it this way. Um, it's certainly your prerogative. The problem, again, would be typically this is the reorganization meeting. Right. Um, and again, I don't know if there's any specific reason that there are people that have been contacted that weren't able to put their name in. But again, the president's the one that gets to make the nomination. Okay. So. Well, I would like to, um, if we can, go ahead and um, take care of the redevelopment one. That seems to be the one we've had the most interest in. Um, when we have more that submitted than really appointments we have, to, we have two appointments to it. If I'm uh, uh, remembering correctly, and I know we've received three names. Um, you know, as president, I will allow if someone wants to nominate someone else on the floor, I'll allow for other nominations. Otherwise, um, I believe we need to do go ahead and do redevelopment if we have. Uh, we're going to do those by paper ballot. Someone will have to request that it be done by ballot. Um, but first of all, we need to open it up for nominations and see if we have more, more than what's sure. even available. Okay. And then I can kind of walk through that process. We did we had a very similar process last year. Okay. So I will allow and open up the floor if anyone has any other nominations on the floor for the redevelopment commission than those three that have applied. Um, I believe all three you have all three of their names. Did you just repeat those, Cheryl, for the, the um, names? The yeah, for the um, I believe yeah. we have Brian Conley, Karen Nasser, and Paul Adderson. Thank you. Okay. 
someone needs to nominate them. Yes. The president, she can do it on her own. Okay, so she yeah. needs to state that she's nominating yeah, so them. Just one way or the other for Is the it, record. I can do that. Is there any other nominations, though, before I make mine? Yeah, okay. I'll make a nomination that um, we take a vote on Brian Conley, Paul Adderson, and Karen Nasser by, by paper ballot for the Redevelopment Commission. So this is by affirmation of the council. So what we'll do is we'll hand out paper ballots because we have two open positions. If you remember from last year, you'll, you'll each vote for two individuals. Cannot vote twice for the same individual. We will tally those, assuming the very unlikely scenario where we have a tie, we should have two individuals that have a clear number. If, if for some reason we have a clear winner and two individuals that have a majority and tie, we'll have to re-vote for the final position which actually I think did happen last year. So you'll each receive a ballot, vote twice. Michelle will then read each council person's vote onto the record, and hopefully we'll have, um, with one voting cycle, two individuals appointed. Okay, council person, um, all are voted for voted for Brian Conley and Karen Nasser. Council person George Azar voted for Brian Conley and Karen Nasser. Council person Tammy Bowen voted for Paul Adderson and Brian Conley. Council person Crossan voted for Paul Adderson and Brian Conley. Council person Debon voted for Brian Conley and Karen Nasser. Council person Elliott voted for Brian Conley and Karen Nasser. Council person Garrison voted for Paul Adderson and Brian Conley. Council person Nation voted for Paul Adderson, Brian Conley. Council President Loudermilk voted for Paul Adderson and Karen Nasser. There we go again. <laughs> so, um, 
as a clear majority, and then five for each of Adderson and Nasser. So we'll have to re vote. So what will happen? Sorry, so what will happen now is you'll all we'll get one vote, and whoever has the most will get the second position. What happens if it's a tie? Can't tie. You got it. Oh, no, that's right. You got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're not allowed to vote check twice. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Do I take off? Um, it's okay to leave the other name because I only have them. Well, if someone decides not to vote. Well. <laughs> When George gets his cord out, flips the coin. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Make it fun. Someone don't know. We'll be here all night long. It's going to be a long meeting. <laughs> we have to do it by ballot still. If I announce two, maybe they'll know not to mark we'll the third one. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I announce two, they'll know not to mark the third one. <laughs> yes. We're going to mark it out. We're going to mark it out. Yeah. <laughs> Multiple submissions for the other. Only in the other right. I know we had. I think 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 we had. I Council Person Aller, Karen Nasser. Council Person George Azar, Karen Nasser. Council Person Boland, uh, Paul Adderson. Council Person Crossan, Paul Adderson. Council Person Debon, Karen Nasser. Council Person Elliott, Karen Nasser. Council Person Garrison, Paul Adderson. Council Person Nation, Paul Adderson. Council Person, uh, Council President 
Lotto Milk Karim Nasser. Six for Mr. Nasser. That's six for Mr. Nasser and four. Or excuse me, five. Five, five four. <laughs> um, Karim Nasser and four for Paul Adderson. <clears throat> Uh, President Loudermilky will need to uh, state the members for the record. Perfect. Okay. So it will be Brian Conley and Karen Nasser appointed to the Redevelopment Commission. Do we need? That's all we need to do, right? We don't need to take a vote on. We've done our voting. We don't do anything else. Okay. Um, I'd like to move on to some of the other ones. We don't have any other, um, some of the other ones only had one vacancy and we had people apply for those. So I would like to um, make a nomination to the Police Merit Board, um, uh, William Tony. If you would, he is here tonight. If you'd like for him to stand up or wave for any of you to see. I'd like to make my nomination as William Tony to take the spot on the Police Merit Board. She can do it on her own, right? She can, but there has to be approval by the council, yeah. so there still needs to be a vote in favor. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. We need to call for the nays. Yeah. I apologize. Oh, yeah. Because Sorry. I, it wasn't totally clear. <clears throat> Sorry. We need to do this. I apologize. <laughs> those with nay? Nay. One. Nay. Eight to one. Eight to one. Motion carries. We have one up for the Animal Control Board. We had Maggie Wheeler. I will nominate Maggie Wheeler to the Animal Control Board. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Same sign. Motion carries. IT Advisory Board, we had two openings. I believe it's Steve Chenoweth and Chris Gardner. They are your current appointees who have asked to be reappointed. I'll make a nomination. Just do one at a time so it's clear. Okay. Possible. I'll make a um, nomination of Steve Chenoweth to the Advisory Board. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Motion carries. I'll nominate Chris Gardner to the IT Advisory Board. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. Motion carries. The last one we have is the Human Relations Commission. I have spoke with um, our attorney, Mr. Felling, regarding this because we do have two vacancies. Um, and we had one that did um, apply for it. However, there are still some concerns with the Human Relations Commission. It is a little different the way their board is made up based on party affiliations and if they own property within the city. Um, so um, he's looking into some more information. I believe that I will um, ask that if anyone is, is interested in it, that they email Michelle Edwards, the city clerk, by February 1st. And we will make that appointment in February. President Loudermilk, just to clarify, it's easiest to reach me at clerk at terrahote.in.gov. And I would also note, if anyone is interested, please let them know, as far as qualifications are concerned, they either yes. need to live in the city limits or if they don't live in the county and own property in the city limits. And if they are interested, they need to indicate what their party, party affiliation, affiliation is, which typically the easiest way to determine would be the most recent primary election, of which ballot you polled. Because that board is, it, it is very important that we know what, which party affiliation you, that our potential appointees are. Okay. And point of clarification. Mm -hmm. So what Democrat and Republican? Is that what we're looking for? Um, I, I'm not going to say it, that's part of what I'm looking into. It looks like we're leaning towards where we may only be able to have one Democrat. I don't want to discourage anybody from 
reaching out to you all and applying, but um, yes, typically with that board, we've had a more difficult time with Republicans. So now it's possible that somebody does not have a party affiliation. I just can't have more than four individuals from any one single party. And the mayor has some appointments to that board as well. So we need to work kind of together and, and, and the makeup of that board. And I don't see any reason why that'd be contentious, but look for both, but it, Republicans would be helpful. But the council is being only asked to make one appointment. There are two openings. Wait, two, two openings. openings. Yes. So, to summarize, two Democrats would tip the scales. Possibly. Possibly. That's why he's clarifying. That's what we need to look into with our those that are currently there versus the vacant spots, ensuring that we know exactly which party an individual is affiliated with. Okay, I'm tracking that. Thank you for okay. the explanation. I get it. So then um, I take the next item on the agenda. Um, is, uh, your appointments to the city council committees. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming I should have done the board prior to that. Okay. Um, I will, I do have a list for the committees, um, the boards we can um, put out. I'll start out with the 911 advisory board. Um, as president, I'm gonna sit on that one. Area planning, Tammy Boland has agreed to take another year. Downtown Terre Haute, Todd. Oh, sure, thank you. Uh, Riverscape, Neil. Yes. Solid Waste, um, George. Azar, and Transportation Policy, Earl. Um, so that will be the boards. And do I need to read the committees into record? Uh, committees would be second. Okay. But those, those appointees will have to be voted on. Okay. If I don't know if there's do a contentious an issue there, but it is possible that those could all be voted on at the exact same time. If there is an area or uh, point of order, any member can, call, can make that point at this time. Okay. Those are my recommendations to the boards. Um, I can do them individually and we can vote individually if you'd like, or I can repeat those boards and we can take one full vote if that's okay. Madam President. I make a motion that we approve all the committee appointments that you just presented. Second. The board. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. Next item on the agenda now, Michelle. Is your appointments to the city council committees. Okay. That does not need a vote. Does not need a vote. Does not need a vote. Okay. Would you like for me to read those into record? Finance, contract appropriations, franchise, chairperson Earl, members Amy, Neil, Tammy, and George, governmental affairs, parks, public property, chairperson George, Martha, Curtis, Earl, and Tammy, planning, zoning, and improvements, chairperson Martha, members Neil, Curtis, Todd, and Tammy, Traffic, Public Safety, Special Health and Welfare, Chairperson Amy, Members Earl, Todd, Neil, and Curtis. And I don't know, Michelle, if you made any copies of this, but I will make sure that everybody gets a copy right. next month. Or Thank you. Yeah. I can make copies. Are we done? Uh, no, I believe. Okay, move to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion's been made by Councilman Azar, seconded by Councilman Garrison to adjourn the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Thank you.